There are great ways today to get rid of the green of a green screen and in this video I will compare three amazing keys from After Effects, DaVinci Resolve and Aximetry, this virtual production software I'm using right now here for this video, um, also with this moving camera. So with the difference, the Aximetry key is a live key. So right now this is real time. Um, let me show my original footage. Probably you will be shocked how this looks like. I have a pre pretty bad lit green screen as well here on the floor. I even don't have <laughs> a, a green screen. And here this is just shadows and black and oh my gosh, horrible. So of course it would be great if you have a well lit green screen, but it's not always possible. Maybe the footage is already shot. Maybe you just don't have great lights and only a small room as I have here right now. And of course maybe I can get it a little better, but no, it's tiny, it's tiny. Okay, let me turn on my key again, also with a moving camera. And um, first we start with After Effects. So, so I'm here in After Effects and many people would probably start with masking out here um, the, the character, the person to get rid of, of all the trash on the garbage on the side. Um, so in this case, I play the hard role. I just take key light, drag, and drag it onto my footage. Then on the left side, um, I pick a color like here close to my body, not too bright, not too dark. Okay, we already got some results. Um, also, let's check um, the combined mat. And then the next step is, um, so we will try a mask in a second, but the next uh, step I would take is cl um, clean black or clip black, how it's called here. And I still don't understand why After Effects, by the way, is so slow and makes the picture blurry while it change, change in this. Not blurry, but uh, like yeah, like like the quality with the pixels and so on. Okay, um, so let's have a look at the final result. Um, so that's just the very quick version without masking it out. Obviously, if, if I would have masked it out, I would definitely get better results. Maybe just do this real quick. Just a quick mask here around this. Um, but uh, what I already noticed, so the, with the floor it's very hard, what I already noticed is that there's some noise on me. And <laughs> yeah, this pixel. Okay, the After Effects is great and I know we can work now more with layers and so on, but um, for comparison, let's go over to DaVinci Resolve. Okay, now in DaVinci Resolve I have the exact same footage um, and this time I select 3D here that I apply for this. The latest key, I love it, and you will see in a second why. Because I simply draw a line around me. Let's try this here as well. And bam, the results are already better than with After Effects. And um, I, of course, I can still um, go here to mud finesse and clean black a little to get rid of some noise in the background. Clean white is probably not necessary. Necessary, And I can still um, mask it out here, even if I don't have to draw a mask, just crop right, crop left. And um, when we check this um, with this composition, it's, so if you already also compare the speed, I know you can get better results with After Effects, yeah? But the same amount of time, just drawing the line, is just so much faster. And of course you have some green here in the hair and I simply apply despill, of course. So DaVinci Resolve, very good key. Um, if you ask me for a key in post-production, so if you want to do your composite, um, not in real time, so if you don't stream and don't plan to use your recording, then DaVinci Resolve 3D is my absolute recommendation. And also, like, no blurriness, right? Okay, uh, let's compare this to After Effects. We have some noise here in the shirt. Don't ask me where this noise is suddenly coming from. I haven't seen it in the in the black-white clip yet. Okay, um, in Eximetry. So, let me talk about Eximetry really quick. This is a virtual production software. So, uh, made for real time. And it has an amazing um, Kia real-time Kia, um, not one, I think five, um, when I share the screen again. 
um, you can see, so it looks complicated, but it's actually not complicated. You can learn the basic uh, and, and, uh, and all you need probably in DaVinci, uh, in Aximetry in two hours or so. So, um, so on this um, tab here on the billboards tip, I click on Kia and on the right side, there's Kia type. So here are the one, two, three, four, five, six different Kias actually. And you can combine them as, as well and so on. And like the basic difference key is a basic one, but the advanced B is the, today is the new um, um, Kia that is um, the default Kia. And hey, have a look again here, like um, full screen. I, I am turn it off the Kia, just the input. Yeah, obviously we have some distortion here because I also have this camera applied yeah there's camera movement from here to there i click play and we have this virtual camera and we have some other nice features but you can see i have my hand cropped here yes i have it cropped so that helped a little with the really dark side um let's have a look at the key billboard so all i did was like the so that's default, yeah? Also the background color, green, that's the default color. I haven't picked another color yet. All I did was bring the low cut up. Oh, so okay, let me, sorry, let me uncrop it as well. So all I did was bring the low cut up until my hair starts to dissolve. And this is somewhere around here and because some parts of my head is already gone now I go to the high cut and bring this a little down until some parts are coming back so and I think I used it completely and now I got some issues on the left side and this is when I started to crop the left side and also cropping the right side um, okay also, probably you now say, hey, wait, and um, do you have another view? Yes, we can have this view here. Yeah, and then we can actually work on, on the left side and also on the right side and also on these settings here again, a little more aggressive. Let's try this. So is it is it a perfect result with this garbage here? So, of course not. And don't forget, um, this is not my green screen. This is my floor here. Yeah, I don't have a green screen on the floor right now, and it's also very dark. So it's a little green, but for the quality of my background and a live Kia, this is just insane. This is just insane. And also, um, I cropped it with the camera here a little. When I go back, at some point, you will see some issues as well here on the side. Yeah, so. But other than that, that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you. Um, well, at the end of the day, I uh, spend most of, of my time in Unreal Engine and I do virtual production work. And the Kia in Unreal Engine is not as good as in uh, Aximetry. It's definitely quite impressive. I would say it's very similar to the After Effects Kia from the quality. It's real time and it's Unreal Engine. It's completely for free. And if you want to learn how to do some stuff with Unreal Engine, check out my website. I apply different courses for beginners. Um, about green screen, about uh, Unreal Engine, about virtual production. Super fun stuff also with this live um, stuff here with this um, virtual camera. I mean, you can do such amazing things with this, uh, with this camera. Let's, let, me, let me try to demonstrate this when I go, for example, more to this direction here. And it looks like I'm sitting behind this table maybe. And then I can simply move, uh, uh, make a camera move. Let me see. Yay. 
And yeah, okay, I have to make some adjustments that you don't see that I'm cropped here at the bottom. And now the camera is going back again. I have this feature turned on that I'm facing the camera. Yeah, but I mean, if you make some edits in post-production, um, it's definitely quite impressive. I mean, this is a, th a 3D picture. I don't have a tracking uh, system applied um, on top of my camera right now. This is really just this this 2D picture, and I think it's quite impressive. Okay, so if you're interested in this, check out my website, moons Moonverse. Dot com. Thanks so much for watching and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.